G'day, Anton here from Perth Gardens. I've got some really cool tools to show you today. I've just had a delivery in the last couple of days of the full set of attachments for the Ego Power Plus multi-tool. And I've kept this stuff in its boxes for the past two days, even though I've really wanted to get started using it because I want to show you the boxes and what's in the boxes before I start using them. And then I can give you some first impressions as well. So, let me show you, first of all, there's the boxes. This is the full range of attachments that are available. The big box here is the Ego Power Plus multi-tool power head with pole saw attachment. There's the pole saw and an extension pole. The, this kit also comes with the 56 volt rapid charger and a 2.5 amp hour battery which can be used for all of the tools. So the uh, multi-tool has its, uh, its motor up in the head which is why it's called the power head I guess and then all of the attachments um, connect onto that power head. So we've got the brush cutter attachment the line trimmer attachment, the edger attachment for making your lawn edges nice, and the hedge trimmer, pole hedge trimmer attachment. So I've already done a review of the hedge trimmer and, um, and I use the self-propelled lawn mower and the blower. Um, all those tools I use every day in my gardening business. So I'm going to check these out, start using them and give you some thoughts on how you can use them in your own gardening business or around your house. Um, but my perspective is, is uh, how these can be used um, day in, day out in, in a working business. And uh, let's check out what's inside the boxes. All right, so let's have a look at the multi-tool power head. This is the basic kit that all of the other attachments depend on. And this has got the, the multi-tool power head, the uh, pole chainsaw attachment, an extension pole, charger and battery. As far as I'm aware, this is the only kit for the multi-tool, so this is your starting point no matter what other attachments you want to use. Let's have a look what's in the box here. All right. So that is obviously the power head itself. Battery clips on there, has a drive shaft coming down and every other tool clips onto the end of the drive shaft there. This, uh, compared to, to other, other tools like the line trimmer which I have, um, this is a much more powerful motor and the motor is in the head rather than at the end of the tool. This um, I believe is a 2000 watt motor whereas the line trimmer motor is 600 watt so it's much more powerful. There is a little bit of power which is lost um, in transferring the energy down the drive shaft to the end of the tool, but it's only about 10% of the power, so it's still a much more powerful tool. Which is what you want when you're using things like um, chainsaws and hedge trimmers. All right, start at this end. Charger. 56 volt charger. I think it is a rapid charger as well. I'll have to check on that, but I think that's half an hour to charge a battery, the 2.5 amp hour battery with that one. It's a battery, 2.5 amp hour. It'll be the same as all of the other batteries, but yeah, that's, that's the smallest size battery that you can get. Um, and 
You can get them in a couple of different sizes, but they're all interchangeable between other tools. So clips on, real easy. Wonder if they give it any power. Yeah, it comes with power. It's already charged. Then we have the pole chainsaw. Nice. 10 inch blade, 25 centimeters. Has a little tool holder there. I think it's an Oregon blade is, um, chain as well. Yeah, it is. So that's a, that's a decent quality chain. And then let's just take a little protective cap off the end and see the drive shaft there. See how easy. Again, this is without reading the manual. So I just want to see how hard it is to hook this up. Let's try it like this. Loosen it up. Okay, well I reckon that's connected. I reckon that's that will work. Let's try it. Yes, it does. So it's not ready to use yet. I've got to put some um, chain bar oil in there, obviously. But look, that shows you how quick and easy that is to set up. I didn't read the instructions. Clipped together so easily. First time I've ever done that. Uh, comes with charge. It's ready to use. And then what else have we got in here? An extension pole. So you can put that onto the chainsaw and it reach even higher. I'll find out the, um, I'll, I'll read the spec sheet and I'll, I'll put uh, some details on the actual, the reach of this and some of the specs. All right, let's look at the brush cutter attachment that goes with the multi-tool head. All right. Instruction manual, some kind of guard, that would be the actual brush cutter head there. It's the main part of the guard. Is the blade 30 centimeter cutting blade? Let's take it out of the protective case. Yeah, that looks like it could do some damage. And some tools. That's everything that's in the box. Chuck that out the way and see how easy it is to assemble this. I'm not even going to use the manual. Let's just see if I can figure this out. That's such a bad idea. Don't follow my advice. Use the manual. Especially when you're dealing with something as dangerous as this, this uh, brush cutter blade. All right, look, I'm not gonna actually use this until I have um, checked the manual and read the safety instructions, but I'm doing this anyway. 
just to see. Alright, that's pretty easy. Blades on. And at the end, there's our drive shaft. And that's how the system works. Each of these attachments has a drive shaft running through the pole to the operating end of the tool. And then from that end connects to the, connects to the power tool head. Okay, let's look at the line trimmer attachment that goes with the multi-tool. And this is kind of the, um, the partner to the brush cutter attachment that I showed you before, which is for real heavy duty cutting and this is for lighter duty. Uh, grass cutting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one goes because I've got the the regular line trimmer but this I think I'm hoping this combined with the more powerful motor of the multi-tool like almost well three times the power of the line trimmer that that I already have I think is going to be a really good advantage of this. So let's check it out first thing so there's the actual line trimmer head and straight away i like this i they've they've got a new kind of um bump feed head on this which has got a flat surface and uh that's more similar to the kind of the petrol tools that i've been using which have a speed load head on them this is, this is a rapid load um, head, so you can, so once you run out of trimmer line, you can quickly reload this. It takes under a minute to reload it. And it's got a bump feed, so you just tap it on the ground and new line comes out. And because it's totally flat across it, you can use it uh, for really fine trimming on the surface of the grass. So I like the look of that. And, um, I believe this has also um, got a anti-clockwise rotation of the head, which is which is more uh, similar to other professional line trimmers, and different from from Ego's uh, previous line trimmers. But we'll we'll check that out, and I'll confirm that later. We've got the manual, of course, and safety instructions, which I should be reading before I use any of these. And you should be. And safety guard. The lawn trimmer att attachment for the multi-tool. This is another interesting one. It takes quite a bit of power to, to, to cut into thick grass and do a neat edge. So I think that this, I'm, I'm hoping again that this has, you know, with the, with the 2000 watt motor, that that's going to have all the power it needs to do a good job with this. Here's the, the edger. Cutting blade there. And Okay, that looks like it's got a height adjustment there. So that will attach like the other tools with the drive shaft. And I guess just walk it along, cutting the edge of the grass. But I'll show you a video once I do that on a proper, uh, out on a job. What else? Tools, tools with every attachment. Manual. Okay, and the last of the tools is the pole hedge trimmer. 51 centimeter pole hedge trimmer. 
dual cutting blade. It says it's got a 26 millimeter cutting capacity. I'd always treat that as an absolute maximum. Um, you might be able to get away with it, but, it, but I think you're, the tool's not gonna last long if you're cutting to that sort of size. Let's have a look inside the box. All right. There it is. Sorry, I'm not making this easy to... Right, okay. That looks nice. Laser cut, dual cutting blades. Looks really nice and well built. It feels sturdy. There's no wobbly parts or anything like that. It's got a adjustment here so you can set it at different positions. Like if you want to do on the top of a hedge. And that when combined with when combined with the um, the additional pole that comes with the uh, the power head plus the power head itself, you would be able to get um, pretty high. I'll find out a few me few meters high, I reckon. And I'll let you know once I've I've had a couple of weeks to play with this. That's it.